Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about the story that just will not go away. Uh, in a new election bombshell, the State Department has been ordered by a federal judge to produce nearly 15,000 of Hillary Clinton's unreleased emails. Right now, I don't want to say Hillary is worried about this story blowing up, but today she asked Ryan Lochte to make up another robbery. <laughs> Journalists have actually tried contacting Hillary about this damaging email development. Unfortunately, they keep getting auto replies that say, sorry, I am out of the Oval Office until January. <laughs> uh, but these emails, they are a real concern, but the Republicans are truly obsessed with them. Like, it's like they, they've become like a jealous boyfriend looking over his girlfriend's shoulder, like, what's this email? Who the hell is this Groupon guy? <laughs> uh, the emails haven't even been released yet, but in the meantime, if you'd like to read 15,000 Hillary Clinton emails, just donate one dollar to the Hillary Clinton campaign. <laughs> Trust me, you'll be hearing from her real soon. Uh, in other Clinton news, her campaign manager, Robbie Mook, said in an interview on CNN that they're having a hard time finding someone as hateful and divisive as Trump to go up against Hillary in her practice debates. It seems like it'd be pretty easy to prep for a Trump debate. Like, just get a parrot <laughs> and, like, train it to say three things. Email, wall, and huge. <laughs> Come here. Email! Email! Uh, actually, if you're, if you're really having trouble getting someone to play Donald Trump in a mock debate, I'm almost certain Donald Trump himself will do it for a million dollars. <laughs> But it's not all political doom and gloom. The future might look brighter than you realise, because a scientist in the United Kingdom made a statement this week that people will be having sex with robots by the year 2050. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie's like, finally, even this guy, this guy's face was like, whoa. <laughs> His face really lit up, it really did. He's like, God, I, I'll know how to turn a woman on. I'll just... <laughs> Just turn it on. <laughs> you are. What did you say? Don't tell her that. Don't tell her that. <laughs> Does he? Is he not? Have I? No. He is it too close to home? <laughs> <laughs> she just went. No, he does. <laughs> um, <laughs> congratulations on all the sex. Um, <laughs> The scientist who made the statement is Dr. Ian Pearson, and he says that building a robot brothel could, gut, could cut down the spread of STDs. At least that's what he told his wife when she surprised him at the lab one day to have lunch. He's like, it's to cut down on STDs, it's nothing. <laughs> Wait, it's Jenny, it's STDs. Um, but a survey among Brits actually found out that 21% that of people would have sex with a robot, while 33% would go on a date with one. Which means some people are like, oh, sure, I'll take a robot out to dinner, but sex, what am I, some kind of weirdo? <laughs> Here's a photo of what the sex robots might look like, and that's what the guys who use them will definitely look like. <laughs> right, look at that photo again. I know, I know she doesn't have emotions, but she looks really unhappy to be there. <laughs> In other technology news, I don't know if you saw this, North Korea has announced that they're releasing their own version of Netflix. The service, it comes in the form of a box you connect to your TV, and it will be called, and this is true, Man Bang. Right? <laughs> and details on the exact nature of Man Bang are kind of hazy, mostly because the CBS server wouldn't let us Google the phrase Man Bang. <laughs> Now, the service will only stream instructional videos on how to speak Russian and documentaries about dictator Kim Jong-un, which seems pretty limited, but we are excited for Man Bang to add new original programming to their service. In fact, coming in the spring of 2017, do not miss the unbreakable Kimmy Jong-un. It's <laughs> fantastic. You're going to love it.